Hey guys, I'm Jeremy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, if you don't mind, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Uh, we're going to be working on our Predator 420 budget build pressure washer. And it's just the Harbor Freight 420. I've already got it mounted on the skid. This is going to be part one of a two or three part th uh, video series. Here's my 6.8 gallon minute pump. Probably realistically going to get about six gallon and uh we're gonna be showing you how to boat that up to the shaft and everything uh this skid i got off amazon i'll put a link in it but right now they're sold out i'm not going to show you how to mount a skid uh i'm not going to do that but it's got a bunch of different hose in it and you just get it lined up these are three eighths boats with a three eighths fender or a three eighths uh washer they're two and a half inches long and then i got a three eighths washer underneath and also got a 3 8 lock nut so that's what's holding that on i went ahead and i installed the drains it tube just to make it easier to drain the oil and uh, i did the break in on the break in cycle i ran it an hour and a half at idle and an hour and a half at about mid throttle so a total of three hours i also installed this hour meter so you can see about three hours on that all you do is cool this around your spark plug about five times per the directions and it worked just like a charm because i set a timer and my timer was dead on with the hour meter so uh, we're going to go ahead and get this set up now this pump it comes with the shipping caps you've got to change those they're right here. It's pretty self-explanatory when you get a gearbox and then it says pump. These are some other screws. But uh, we're going to be using these uh, four hose here. The, out, the outer ones. Keyways in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some anti-seize on this uh, shaft just to make things a little bit easier. And we're also gonna be using a zip tie to hold our keyway on. Anyways, I'm gonna try to get this set up and uh, show you what we're doing. All right, we're gonna go ahead, get the keyway in, get us a zip tie on it. We just, uh, don't have to have it super tight. But you don't want it to be able to come out. Anyways, we're gonna take a little anti-seize, lube this thing up. That's probably enough for the whole shaft. Just don't want this thing getting stuck together whenever we gotta work on it and take this off. And I'm wearing a glove just because I don't want to get dirty. Alright. Alright. Trick is getting the keyway lined up with your pump. So let's give it a shot here. Go boys, we're in like a pin. Let's loosen this up enough to cut it. With some snips. Got that cut. Let's go ahead and get her on up in here. little bit of slack all right so it comes with these three eighths and a washer and a spacer that spacer will slide back behind this just like such
just gonna get everything snuck down by hand. Now the trick is on the bottom, this is what I do because I can't get my hands in there. I take my needle noses and I hold it and I start it just cause it's a little bit easier for me to do it that way. That looks like I may have it just a little too snug at the bottom. So, give it just a little tug back. Let's get started on it again. What are you doing? I am putting this pump on this print on on this motor, I'm building the pressure washer, and we're making a YouTube video. You gonna be my helper tonight, or are you just gonna blow me off again? Dad, I'm just watching a no. All right, one more to go. You could probably see it better from this angle, but we're just sliding in here, getting it snug. Just like that. It's a 14, it's a 14 millimeter. Keep it on that side. Okay, Dad. When are you gonna call Abby? I'm just gonna snug it. What? What? So, you have to go back to snug. That's not the camera. Ah. We need to see how to do this. Now quit. I just like to snug them up. So we'll go ahead and tighten this one. Not overbearing, but snugging. I'm sure there's probably some torque specs somewhere, but I don't have them. That's that. Anyways, that's how you mount it. Nothing real bad. We'll take these caps out and then we'll replace those. But here's your oil level. You can see right there's your, uh, your gear oil, which is 80, 90 weight. And then right here's your pump oil and it's 30, 30 weight. Non-detergent, I do believe. Pressure washer takes 10 W30 SAE takes 1.1 quarts, but That's where we're at right now until uh, We get some more stuff in we should have a shipment in tomorrow But I probably won't be doing any more work on it for a couple of days. But anyways guys, this is part one Of this budget build. So thanks for checking it out. That's how you do it. It's really easy We're just waiting on the fittings and everything else to come and I'm gonna show you something here real quick he just wants to be in the video, so. Yeah! Here is a. Uh, I've got you a lot of. You can tell there's a, uh, a gap in I'm between not, that. I'm not your helper. I'm but watching. I was told that was normal, so we'll see. It's silky. And uh, we'll go from there. Anyways, Good. guys, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of it. We'll show you getting all the fittings, plumbing, get getting it mounted on the truck. All right, guys, appreciate it.